purple lights. Let's do again a reading about what your person wants to tell you, okay? We haven't done this in a long time. So what your person wants to tell you, messages from your person. So I'm getting four, four cards. So messages from their person. What is this? First significator is movement. Okay, we have number 36. So if you feel drawn to this card, please choose this. We have water energy. We have movement flow energy. So this will be our part one. Or if this is significant for your person. Let's give me pile two and three. Okay, then we have the dragon. We have power strength number 24. So if you feel drawn to the dragon, choose this card. Then also came out the death card. So we have the death card. If you feel drawn to this card, choose this. This will be our path three. And one more path four. Partnership number 32. So we have 36, 24, 46 and 32 with the name partnership on us. So those are your piles. So please choose whatever you feel drawn to. This will be messages from your person. Okay. I see you at the piles. Bye guys. Hello, pile one. You chose this card about movement. So this is all about movement. I feel that you are stuck in your journey right now. You're stuck and um, let's get the overall message, the overall energy of this connection. But I feel you're longing for movement in this journey. And I shuffle here in front of the camera. I saged the area here. So let's see what is going on here pile for pile one. And we have follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. <laughs> so this is what your person wants to say. Just um, in spite of waiting for movement, just do movement yourself. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. So let's see, what is the overall message? First, we want to look at who is this person that is telling you. Let's get some ideas on who this is. And I'm doing this with the Kippur Oracle cards by Giro Machetti. I really love these decks. They're gorgeous. I feel you're stuck in your journey with your person. No contact. Um, I feel this is soul journey. There is nothing moving. And your person is saying, well, don't concentrate on me. Concentrate on your heart's desires. Concentrate on away from me. And who's this person? We have a good woman and a thief. Um, you are a widow. We have six and 24. So this person, you feel sometimes that they have been stolen away from you. So that's why you are a widow. You feel married to this person. So this could be a very strong soulmate connection. Very, very strong. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Yes, very strong. Let me get my tarot cards. Very strong soulmate connection. But they are not in your life. We have the six, that's the lover's card, could be a twin flame. You are single, you are on your own. You feel like life has stolen away this person from you. So this could be either someone else, like a third party stole the person away from you. So we have the oak king that's in hangman position. Mm. So the situation here right now is that you're not in contact. We have the infinity sign here. So this tells me that, yeah, I mean, this person is thinking of you, but they're putting themselves in this position. So they're holding them back. This person is holding themselves back. 
because um, they're saying you need to follow your heart desires. I feel this person is an earth sign. Let me get the cards first. I'm not reading reversals. <clears throat> So let me see. So let's get the messages. What is the messages from this person? We have, why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? So this person is holding themselves back. Because we have the Oak King here and it says, I can feel you even when you are not here. So there is a strong infinity sign. There is a strong connection. And when I say, um, you know, the masculine always feels the feminine in their heart chakra. It's always like this. And when we have all this earth energy here, I feel that your person is either Pisces because this, this is a Neptunian card, the Oak King. But with the Oak King, your person is a very wise leader, I feel. Um, they're very wise, you know, um, they know, if you ever ask yourself if they know that they are in a soul connection, yes, they know that they are in a soul connection and they keep themselves hanging because you see, there's nothing holding this person back on this tree. It's like they clued themselves on the tree because there are no ropes, you see, no one else has hung them there. They themselves hung them there. So the Oak King, um, they want to gain more wisdom. That's, that's what their main purpose is. So it's like they stuck themselves in this position. Like they're not coming forward because um, they want to have more more wisdom. They want to gain more wisdom. They want to gain more, more insight. It's like they are on a spiritual journey, yes. But they stuck themselves there because they love um, the movement, what they're in right now. And they love their the job whatever they're doing right now whatever this third party is that's that's taking this person out of your life you know there is something here with this card of um it says thief what takes like what what keeps you from coming together yeah someone stole your person away something or someone and whatever this something someone is your person is wanting to be there yeah, they want this. And that's why they tell you also follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. They want that you don't wait for them right now. They want that you go and manifest. But I feel here that I feel those are all your gifts. And there's one particular gift that you are very gifted in. But you keep it on your shelf. You know, you put it back. I feel you you don't feel ready you want to stay in the comfort of this house you know you're not flying free you see the spirit here outside sitting there and the spirit is free and the spirit chooses to sit on this tree so the same as this person is loving the freedom in the woods and loving to be robin hood maybe you know giving to the poor um loving their life they love it yeah Whatever has stolen your person away from you, they love it to be there. So it could be a job that they're really loving to do. I don't think it's a woman, another woman, you know, because otherwise they would not say, I can feel you even when you're not here. Um, I think this is a different lifestyle that they're having and they're loving it. And you are still stuck in your own house. Yeah, you're still resisting this pull to be free. You're still resisting your manifestation of your heart's desire. So let's see, see what this person says to this. Can you show me what the seven of wands is? I mean, that's the feminine energy. That's your energy. That's the, this energy. And here again, this person is sitting. We also have the fire and they say, you bring light to my darkness. 
So what I'm feeling here, you can warm. You have a warm heart. This is your soul. Yeah, the soul is also like a room. You have a warm heart. You have a warm soul. But you're you're really um, staying, remaining in your comfort zone. We see this here. She's sitting there and waiting. And your person is say, saying, don't do this. Get out. This is like the advice. You can bring light to many people. Not only to your person, but you can also bring light <clears throat> to many people, to many other people. And that's what they want from you. They want that you step out of your comfort zone. And here is the cup, you know. They're ready to bring this cup to you. The Knight of Chalices. And what I think is very gorgeous in this card, we have the grain here. Um, and this is like the stork or like the swan. You know, cranes stay coupled for life. And here we have the ritual, you know, this is for this bond. The soul bond was made in ancient times. And they're ready to bring their cup. So let's see what they say to this one. What are they saying to this one, part one? So they really want movement. You also see this here. You also see this here. This is movement. This is all about movement. Yeah. And they say, don't give up on me. Yeah, if you're not moving, they can't come. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Like, they can't come. And they say, well, don't give up on our bond. Don't give up on me. But in order to, for us to be together, um, let's do it like this. Like, they can feel you. But they want that you follow also your heart desire. And you give to the world. You know, you, this is also the card, the Knight of Cups of... Um, bringing your gift into the world, really going out there, going out of your comfort zone, really doing what your heart desires, is really going for your dreams. Yeah, this is very important here. And this is what your person wants to tell you. If there is no movement, you guys cannot be together. Let's get one more card here. One important thing that you need to know what they want to tell you. Pi one. What this person wants to tell you, part one. <clears throat> so we have three cards. Let's take them all. We have the milk and honey. At the end of the rainbow, there's milk and honey. And we get, again, we have number six. So you might see a lot of six, six, sixes, you know. The six is all about stability and um, harmony, you know. And um, I mean, milk and honey is at the end of the rainbow. So again, this is bathing in milk and honey. This is finding your fortune. This is going out, you know, making it happen, flying free. We have serendipity. Yeah, this connection will happen when it's the time. You know, you will meet by serendipity. So there's no need to, to stay at home. Maybe you're staying at home that you don't miss the chance when this person is coming. But they're saying, no, you, you got to get out. You know, you are the yin. There is a confirmation that you are the divine feminine. You are the yin to the yang. You need to bring your gift into the world. You need to um, not sit at home and wait till everything is coming to you. You need to go outside. Yeah, You need to bring your gift to the world. You bring light to darkness, not only to them, but only to the people. So this is really, really important. Okay, so let's get some more. Let's get some more little cute hearts. So let's see what else this person wants to tell you. And I have here my, my little thingy. Mm, not that many. Okay, let's get some cards. So let's read them. That's cute. I'm always thinking of you. <clears throat> My love for you is a journey starting at forever and ending at never. That's so cute. You are the only one for me. So see, 
You don't need to worry. I love that a call I love that a call or text from you in the middle of a bad day can totally change my mood and make it all okay. <clears throat> and you blow my mind. So those are beautiful, cute little notes that they want to tell you, um, you know, to see that they're not stolen away. They're not stolen away. They think of you, but um, as of right now, your journey is different from each other. Your journey is on, you know, two different ends and you got to do movement. You know, you got to do movement forward. Okay, by one. That's all what I'm having. Bye. Please subscribe and please like the video. <laughs> Bye. So, hello, part two, the dragon pile. So, very, very interesting. I feel here this connection is very powerful. I feel here a very powerful connection. The dragon, um, this connection brings you both to a lot of power. I feel you hold a lot of power in this world. Like, you will be very significant and very important people like this could be a very significant um, connection you know so let's see what this person wants to tell you Pile dragon that's too many cards i just want one the dragon please i'm feeling this one so we have you are on your way to meeting your true love oh wow so this person is your true love and you are already on the path like how beautiful is that you are on your way to meeting your true love look at this and your true love is this dragon a very strong personality very um you know i feel even this bond is like the dragon i feel both of you are very significant to each other so let's see who this person is. Who is this person we're talking to? Who is this message coming from? Who is this true love? Who is this true love? Okay, someone who works really hard. Yeah, we have the work. Um, someone who is a creative person. I see always when I see this card that someone who works in the fashion industry who has something to do with fashion. Um, this person is working day and night. Yeah, this is a very hard working person. Um, 34, they're doing their soul task. That's what I'm also seeing. The seven is the soul number. Um, we also have the four. This person is very stable. We have two and three. So this work, what they're doing is their third party. This is what probably keeps you apart from each other. This work. work. But they're very busy and they're very hardworking person. <clears throat> and you are on the path of meeting them. That's beautiful. So let's see what their message is. I feel they want to confirm that you are on their path. That everything is alright. You don't need to worry. Maybe you worried a lot. Maybe you're worried a lot. Can I see their message? So we have the nine of cups. Wow. <laughs> so maybe they see you even coming here and watching this tarot. <laughs> nine of cups is wow. Wish fulfillment. This connection is so strong. It's a justice card. And we have the six of pentacles. Wow. So maybe you're confused if you are on the right path, you know. Maybe you are also working hard. Maybe this is mirroring. Because here I feel a mirroring going on. Maybe you also work day and night. Um, you're very creative. Maybe you create art. And your wishes, you know, this is your wish fulfillment. Your wish is to meet this person. Your wish is um, to have this luck. We have this little ladybug here. And, you know, we have all the chalices. This could be all the... 
yeah like like all the relationships you had maybe you had nine significant relationships and um, you know that this person is your one you just know this so for everyone who's not sure if this is their one true love i don't think this pile is for you because i feel here that you absolutely know out of tarot readings or from somewhere else that this is your person this is your wish fulfillment so let's see what they want to say to this why is this nine of cups here what do you want to say Sometimes I feel so much for you, I have to pull away. Yeah. Maybe they have also consulted tarot readers that told them to pull away because this is a very significant relationship. It could be a twin flame and I told you how much um, twin flames are regarded wrongly in this society, you know, <laughs> in the 3D sometimes. So, um, maybe they got wrong advice also you know but also um maybe they can read their own cards yeah maybe they um are their own tarot reader and um they can feel so much maybe they have a very high intuition um so sometimes it is just too much so they have to tune out of this um of all this insight they're getting i, I feel here that the fire in them is burning yeah i feel strong twin flame here the fire in them is burning so much that sometimes they just have to shut it off and that's why they do something else but they're saying you are on the path towards them and they know about this they know yeah can i see the standing i mean the standing stone this is all about justice this is the justice card this is also strength i see strength here and justice that will be served you know this connection is sh shine by the light you see here this is watched over by higher power the standing stone this connection is standing strong this connection is very powerful i feel the power and the strength the dragon here this is towards this connection can i see um the standing stone and i feel here that you have to overcome right now some obstacles and that's why maybe you're your i love you even if i don't say it so they don't tell you this you don't know this and that's why probably you're confused probably you're like well if they don't tell me you know if i'm not in contact with that person how should i know that this this is my one how should i know this i feel you're more on the confused um, path you know and your person wants to tell you i feel you you know I feel you. Everything what Tarot tells you, it's true. I feel it too. I love you even if I don't say it. And you are on the path towards this connection. You are on this path. But right now I'm, you know, I'm working really hard. Um, let's see the Six of Pentacles because that's usually speaking of third party. So this could be this, the, their soul task that they give to other people. We also have here someone that's strategizing, you know. You see this person they strategize they're not really true they're not authentic so i feel like your person is maybe surrounded and maybe you too um, of people that steal your energy sometimes you know that you give <clears throat> your soul task both of your soul tasks is to give what is the six of pentacles but maybe they have false friends or something is stealing their energy from you maybe it's their their third party this this job what is the six of pentacles yes <clears throat> so this is the life they are caught in right now yeah this is them giving i feel your person has reached a lot look at this they have a beautiful house they have beautiful clothing um i feel they're really much in tuned into the fashion world so they could be a model or they could be someone that works through fashion yeah and you make me want a better life um there are people here in the surroundings that mistake or that miss like they drain their energy you know people that strategize people that don't want the best for your person but also i feel that they're very happy in their soul task but <clears throat> at the same time there are people in their surroundings where it's like they're giving and giving and giving and 
yeah, some people might even betray them. Yeah, so this depends on, probably you know this about this person, probably you know that whatever their job is, that something is toxic in this job. Yeah, you, you probably know this. This is not a person that has a beautiful job. Their job is like um, probably in the public eye, prob probably they have a lot of power and a lot of strength. But this is not like one of our boys. I can tell you right now, like if you chose that pile, um, our boys don't have a toxic, um, toxic life. Like they are in their soul task. So this is not nothing like this. This is someone here that's that's working day and night in a job, but um, and they brought it far, you know, they have a lot, but it's not fulfilling them. Well, you know what I mean? There are also people that drain their energy and um, that's why they want a better life. But for some kind of reason, they cannot step out of this. Maybe because their money, their income depends on this job and they have to do it, you know, they have to do it. This is not someone that does their soul work already. Okay, just want to say this. And they're very in tuned with spirit. They know that there is something else waiting for them. And especially your love. So can I see what's going on here? Can you give me more information? Message in a bottle. Yeah, it's like, like they want to message you. They write you how much they love you, but um, it's like they don't know where to send it to. Why? Yeah. I also feel this. Mm -hmm. What I'm feeling with these two cards is um, they try to write you a message, but then they like pull away from this. This is this card here. Um, they want to call you. They want to text you. They want to come forward. Um, but because this is the 15, this is the devil card in tarot, something is holding them back. Like this job here, this um, six of pentacles. There's something that because of this job, because of what they're doing, they cannot reach out to you. And while well, they're asking themselves, well, why do I stay? Yeah, they have a lot of questions. Why am I in this position? Why, um, you know, and they're asking their angels, they're asking their spirit guides. This person is really trying to find another way to come in contact to you because they really want this love, but they have to be powerful and strong in order to overcome this mountain. This mountain is whatever job they're doing, whatever this work is here, this third party. Um, because of this, because they are chained to that, because they have to give in this job, they cannot reach out to you. And that's what they want to change. Yeah, They're working on changing this. And you are already on the path to this person. So very gorgeous, Pat, too. Really love this reading. Yeah. Bye, guys. Please subscribe if you're here for the first time. And please like it. Bye. Hello, pile two. No, three. Okay, so part three. I just saw that I forgot to draw little cute notes for part two. So I hope for part three this is not happening. So let's see what your person wants to tell you. But there's always a reason, you know, why I'm forgetting this. So <clears throat> part three is saying, I have found the one that my soul loves. Okay. That's interesting. Well, we have death here. We have a transformation here. Um, that's in, that's really interesting right now. What is this all about? Let's see who your person is. Let's see who this is. It says, I have found the one that my soul loves. Who is this person that's talking here? Okay, so we have someone that... Gave you a present. Very interesting. Very interesting. Someone that gave you a present. I don't know who that is. Maybe your ex. Maybe someone else. 
but this is someone that gave you a present. Ha! What is the message here? Um, if this is a connection, a soul connection, then they might have found you. It could also be that they are on the journey with someone else and they are telling you that they have found the one that they're loving. So let's see what this is. What is this message all about here, Pile 3? We have the Four of Chalices. <clears throat> yeah, maybe they have made you an offer before. That's interesting. Maybe you did not take their offer. Maybe they made you a present and you did not take it. What is this all about? What is the message? The Ten of Adamus. Someone that you're trying to manifest or... Hmm. There was an ending here. That's why death is here. The tower. Interesting. I feel here this is someone that you... Like someone that you broke up with. That's why death is here. You know, we have the 10 here and the 10 here. Maybe you regret breaking up with them or maybe you regret being not interested in this person before because I see here they came with a cup, you know, they came. They gave you a present. Um, they wanted to be together with you. That's what I'm seeing here. You know, I feel this is a real 3D meeting. Someone come here, came here and you're not interested. And then, um, you know, you regret and you money want to manifest them back. Interesting. What is this Four of Cups message? What is the message to the Four of Cups? I don't have as much to give as you do. I feel they gave their all and you, maybe it was not much, it was not enough for you. Yeah, at the time being when they came to you and they offered you something, maybe they were too immature, um, but they gave you all. They gave you all what they have. I feel this is an X energy. Hmm, it's very interesting. This is someone in real life that you have met. This is not... This is not someone that you have a soul connection with right now. This is someone that gave you a present, but you were not interested. There's also a, an imbalance in give and take, you know. One of you has not much. The other one has a lot. I feel this is a person that gave you their all. They gave you all what they could have. Can I see the Ten of Adamus? There was a breakup here. There was um, like something you regret. I have feelings for you that I don't know how to express. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> This is very interesting. It's over, but there are still feelings there, you know? It's over, but there are still... I have feelings for you. I don't know how to express. There was a time when you were waiting for the right person. This person came in, but um, you didn't want it then. But they anyway, they gave you some kind of gift. They gave you themselves. They gave you the, themselves, but you were not interesting. Uh, interested. You were not interested and you sent this person away. And now I feel that um, 
you have mixed feelings about that. You uh, you have feelings for this person you can't even express. What is going on? Why is the tower here? I miss you so much. Oh, wow. Maybe they, they want to come back. So this is not about... Um, this is not about... Well, okay, take it take it how it resonates, okay? I, t I tell you that both the two scenarios here. So one scenario is you rejected this person because all what they have to give to you was not what you wanted, but they had nothing more to offer. They really offered their soul to you. Um, but, you know, you couldn't even express your feelings. Maybe you had feelings, um, but you, you don't know how to express them. Maybe you don't know what you were feeling at this moment in time or at this moment. And that's why you tr you, you told this person, um, no, it's not happening between the two of us. And you regret this. Yeah. And now you realize you made a mistake in the past that you let this person go and that you miss them very much. Yeah. Or it's the other way around that either you or this person, one of you rejected the other because there is... A, a difference in what you have and what you wanted from each other so what there was a disbalance in what you wanted from each other in the relationship so there was not a beginning yeah i feel here with the ten of swords in your mind or in their mind in their mind they could not make sense of this whole thing and um that's why because you rejected them i feel here that it's either that they want to come back because you they miss you so much or it's that it's your energy. But I'm not, I mean, I'm, we wanted to do their feelings. And what they're feeling is, is that you got, you rejected them and they were, you know, they didn't know what to feel anymore, what to think anymore. And now in separation, because the tower also means separation, you know, they really want to break this barrier down that's between the two of you, of you, you know, because they're saying you are my soulmate. You know, I have found the one that my soul loves. I really love you. I want to, I want that this death situation ends between the two of us. I want that we find each other again. You know, I want that um, we can find each other. We can be with each other again because I miss you so much. Because I feel this is not your energy. I feel this is them saying this to you. And maybe they got clarity in separation. Maybe it's the feminine energy and you are the masculine. Maybe you gave them a present and um, you offered your love to them. But that's all what you could give. But they didn't want it, you know. Can you show me what's going on here? Yeah, TikTok. There was a, there is a separation for some time now. I feel you are separated for some time. <clears throat> Not for you. Nope. Okay, I will tell you also the other scenario. The other scenario is you rejected them and they have found someone else. And you know, you are now in this tower energy that your tower is crashing down because you miss them. You see your mistake that you made. But the universe is saying, nope, this person is not for you. So please apply it as it fits. If you feel this person is not for you, you will feel it right now. Because we have an ending here, we have the Ten of Swords here. very interesting wow so let me get some more what is this person wanting to tell you so we have i'm wearing the smile you gave me what else is this person saying i went to wake up every morning with you in my arms It's 
very interesting. TikTok not for you. Take care of my heart today. I have left it with you. There is still separation between. I don't want to take more cards. Someone is someone is missing the other here. Someone is left and wants to come back and some and on another pile someone has left and found someone else. So please apply it as it fits because there can be like three, four different scenarios. Very interesting. Guys, also you feel what I mean, yeah? Please know if you're confused now, listen to your inner voice. You feel what I mean. It could also be that this is an ex that moved on to someone else and they just want to tell you they have found the one. They still miss you, but they have found someone else, okay? This could also be the case. Or that they want to come back. But they're telling themselves it's too much time, you know? Too much time went by, so maybe it might not be for you, for me, because you rejected them before, yeah? This is also what I'm strongly feeling, that um, you rejected them, they still miss you, and um, they want to come back. But since there is a long time gone by, they don't even know because you rejected them in the first place if you want to even take them back. Yeah? So you will probably know. And this here, you will know who this is. Okay? So this is all what I'm having. Part 3. Bye. So Hyper 4, you chose this partnership card. So let's see. What is the message of this person? What is this message of this person by partnership? Beautiful colors. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Okay, so this is like your partner in crime. <laughs> they, they urging you to go out. They urging you to find your true self. They urging you to find um, what your soul longs to. Everything, and you should not be fearful. So. There is some kind of fear that you're having in this connection. Okay, so maybe fear of change because here it looks like a portal. It looks like you have to step out of your comfort zone. So who is this person that's giving you this advice or who's this person that's giving you the message? Rich girl. So this is someone rich. They are in feminine energy. We have the hanged man here, so you are not in contact with this person. The rich girl is also always the card of um, creativity. So this person is rich. They are creative. They have created something. Um, so maybe this is someone you admire. Maybe this is someone um, yeah, you have a partnership with. Fe strong feminine energy is coming through, so you could also be a male, you know, or you could be a girl being in masculine energy and your guy is in feminine energy. So let's see the message. What kind of message is coming through here? What kind of message is coming through? What kind of message is coming through here? Again, we have the Queen of Cups. So this person is strongly in feminine energy. They're very in tuned. Yep, the moon, a Cancer. Two of Pentacles. So if this is a boy, this person is in feminine energy right now. Okay, they are your girl, you know, so we could say this because this is happening, you know. If you are yin or yang, your person could be in feminine energy and you could be in masculine energy right now because I see it here. So please apply it as it fits. We have someone that's um, sitting there on their throne, being very in tuned into um, what their feelings, you know, knowing about their feelings, admitting their feelings. Um... They know what they want, who they want, you know, that's a Queen of Cups, that's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. 
so they could be this this is being fearless i mean she's sitting there on her throne in the middle of a like look at this i mean it's very turbulent see <clears throat> so what your person also can tell you is um that you should be fearless you know you should sit there with your cup and you should be happy because um so let's see what is this all about the queen of cups here wow so so you probably i feel the same about you as you do about me so there is a reciproc reciprocity how do you say this reciprocity of feelings yeah you are both having the same feelings about each other so maybe you didn't know this here is confirmation that um, you should be confident if this is your energy if you are a cancer pisces scorpio your person could also tell you sit on your throne you have my heart you have my cup i feel the same you are my queen of heart you are the queen of my heart please apply it as it fits both of you could be in feminine energy and they can tell you um you know sit, sit on your throne why are you not sitting on your throne um even if you you know you feel it deep inside of you you already know the answer this is the moon card this is deep intuitive feelings <clears throat> what is, why is the moon here i have passion on my mind wow so this love goes deeper than they thought yeah they see it as a partnership this is for me like the marriage the bond um there is separation in the two of you you know there's something here that that's why your wall you know your it's not meant um there is something in between the two of you you see all these these walls here they have come to get they can come together but they're telling you you don't need to fear because um, I feel the same about you. you. You should be confident sitting on your throne. Um, you, ho you hold my cup in your hand. And even if you don't know where the journey is going, I have passion in, on my mind. So they love all about you. They love and they have passion. And this passion goes very deep. The moon card. They also try to express this love. Yeah, The moon is... A deep intuitive feeling something that goes very deep so you could be pisces or they could be pisces can i see the two of pentacles i even feel they watch you from afar or you watch them because they're looking at this pentacle the answer is yes <laughs> so yeah. so they watch you or you watch them maybe you have asked yourself if they watch you if they know about you so yes this person is looking but it could also be that this is your energy and you're more, more in masculine energy. And, you know, this is the soul bond, the two of you, and you're watching them. Yeah. And maybe you have asked yourself if they feel the same. So whatever you ask yourself, the answer is yes. Well, not whatever, but. So here is all confirmation, especially about the deep feelings you're feeling. So maybe you were not sure. Maybe you were doubting this connection. Maybe you were not sure if they feel the same because they are this rich girl they are this rich creative person and maybe you have no idea if this partnership that you're feeling um, if this is even true yeah and you were fearful so this is confirming that you don't need to have all this fear everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear so why are you fearing walking this path even if you don't know where it's going um you know don't doubt this here it's very important the message is don't doubt what you're feeling because I, I have passion for you i feel the same the answer is yes maybe you asked yourself if they have seen you can i get um card what is important here in this connection also with this partnership um i mean that's vice versa a partnership is you feel the same and they feel the same yeah, and the truth needs to be told. You know, they need to come out and tell the truth. Maybe they have never opened up about this. Maybe that's why you were doubting it, because you don't know the truth. And now it's like, you know, the windows are opening and they're saying, yeah, the truth is I love you too. I know about this. I have wisdom. This is the truth be told. I'm, I'm you know, I'm taking off my mask soon. 
come to the edge. Yeah, that's about jumping in. That's about coming to the edge, confessing. I feel here a love confession that's on your way. So I feel here that you were doubting this whole thing because it's too good to be true. This is like a crush situation that you, you saw this rich girl, you know, this rich boy. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with them. <laughs> Look, it's faded love. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's faded love and they will they will confess. They will talk about this. So the answer is yes. You probably were not sure if they're feeling the same. So this is a partnership. We have also the infinity symbol and there's change coming. Yeah. And maybe you were afraid that you're just having these feelings and you don't even know if this is true. Maybe you were like, oh my gosh, is this even true? Is this, um, is this what, what, what is this, you know? So let's see what they're saying. Thanks for, thanks for filling our life with love and our love with life. You should know that I am never letting you go. That's gorgeous. You have made me a stronger person. Spending time with you is my absolute favorite way to lose sleep. Wow. Okay, one more. If all you need is love, we've got it covered. <sighs> <laughs> that's sweet okay one, one more and then we're done lucky for me i have you to share my journey with oh so there is love here there is reciprocity or whatever this english word is for this <laughs> so please apply it as it fits but yeah you know everything you've ever wanted is, is on the other side of fear you don't need to doubt this journey there is nothing you need doubting with you know this is a partnership and this is um, your person, you know. And just because the differences between the two of you are so high and this might be a crush, they love you back, you know. This is vice versa. This is reciprocated, okay. So that's all what I'm having. I hope you like this reading. Please subscribe and sign up for my readings and like the video. Bye.